Greetings, Dennis Daniels here. Uh, I have a looking at the invoice preferences here, and I've got an invoice number prefix. I can change all this, so I'll uh, change it to Happy, and the next number is three. Invoice title show reference as. Terms and conditions. This, since this is the template, um, I'll just say pay now, pay now, or Luigi is coming to visit you. No offense to Luigi's of the world. Okay, so save. And now I got my settings. These are my invoice preferences. New payment term. No, I don't want that. Uh, so I click home. I'm going to create a new invoice. Here's the new invoice. Uh, new invoice. And this is going out to the same CBA consulting. Invoice auto generated, PO, blah, 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 net 30. And I have to select the item. Can't get around that. So the rate is 3,000. No tax. See now, this is where it gets fuzzy. Why can't I change this? Because the currency is going to be different. Change it here. No. Oh, I have to change it by the customer. The customer is going to specify what uh, currency they're going to pay in. Right? So I create a new customer, new customer, and we'll call this uh, BAC, and there's the currency code right there. Okay, so, oh, I have, there's no add or select new ones here, so I have to cancel out of that, go into settings, leave this page, so I, go have, I have to go and add my currencies. Currency I want. New currency. And let's choose the um, the HTG Gourd. Of course, everybody's being paid in gourds today with the falling dollar. Uh, you're going to find the greatest safety in HTG Gourd. Uh, so we've got HTG Gourd. Now I have to create a new. Back home. No, no. I go to contacts and create a new contact. New contacts. It's all over here on the right hand side. Keep forgetting that. <coughs> and uh, we'll call this Gord Tech. And I choose their currency. They want. They're going to pay in the HTG Gord. Uh, leave all. With it, Zoho should supply sample data. This is ridiculous. I have to do all this myself to tor to be able to test their tools. Okay, net 15, new con. Well, I don't want to contact person because I want Zoho CRM to fill this data out for me. Let's go back to money in. And I create a new invoice. Create new invoice. Side. All right, here's Gord Tech, and now I should get HTG over here. Select Gord Tech. Please wait. There it is, auto generated. Now, okay, so one HTG equals one USD? No, I don't think so. Maybe it does, but I somehow doubt that. Really? The 
times TT chord is the same amount as the US dollar. HTG, the Haitian gourd. think so. Uh, one Haitian gourd is worth about 2.4 cents US. So let's convert that, recalculate, uh, okay, exchange rate. Let's see. One HTG equals one USD? No. Recalculate, yes. Clearly not working. So, and this is even more. Okay, so uh, it's not recalculating for me, so I have to put in the number for it. And I'll copy that. Put this in here. Recalculate. No. I'm recalculating. So now this number here should calculate into however million, however hundreds of thousands HTG gourds are supposed to get. Now, see this? It's HTG, but the HTG is not worth one US dollar. It's worth 0.248. I'm going to recalculate. La, 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 la. Yes. There it goes. So I have to enter the exchange rate for my invoices. It doesn't pull it automatically. I have to go and find it. That's okay, but it doesn't say that. It in fact, there is no help. How do I add tax and associate create tax group, add an item online? Yeah, I, where is my information about how to use the exchange rate? I have to figure it out on my own. 3,000 US dollars, by the way, is worth uh, 122,000 Haitian 